Tucker fans Green. get excited. The Corpus Christi FC is just a day away from their start of the season. Green. They have a lot of talent coming from all over the United States. And finally, after weeks of training and preparation, they're ready to get Green. on the field for the real action. And hopefully they'll have a packed crowd for their first game. Green. Tomorrow is a chance for our young guys and some of our Corpus Christi talent to show uh, why they are on the squad. Some of our younger guys, since we don't have our full team. Uh, but we have Carlo Lopez, we have Teddy Libby, uh, Dalton Butler, all developed here in Corpus Christi that will be playing tomorrow night. We led the conference last year in attendance. We hope to do the same thing again this year. Green. The team will play their first game tomorrow night against the FC Thunder over at Jack Dugan Stadium. It's expected to start at 7 p.m. Over at Cabinus today, a little good Friday afternoon baseball. London taking on Falfurias. And it was, just to say the least, not a lot of hitting, good pitching on the mound. Bases loaded for the jerseys early. Connor Kuyper's on the mound, and a ball gets passed. The catcher here, Chase Gonzalez, has trouble handling it. That's going to be how the first run for the jerseys score. And then Connor Gonzalez, a ball goes way past third base. That's going to score a couple more for the jerseys. It would be 4-0 to zero in the early going of this game. And you can't have that if you're going to try to play defense and stop some runs. On the other side, Brad Ainsley was on the bump for the jerseys. He was phenomenal. Strikes out John Barrera on the dropped third strike, and then he strikes out Chase Gonzalez. He had a no-hitter, folks, through four innings. Final score from that one, Jersey defeat the Pirates 5-3. to three. Now, if you missed it last night, it was late, but the San Antonio Spurs, they took care of business against the Denver Nuggets. Derek White dropped a career-high 36 points and a 118-108 win.